my name is Kenneth Egan, um, Olympic silver medalist from Beijing Olympics 2008. <laughs> I'm here today to talk to you guys about discipline, determination, and having a dream. It took me 18 years to reach the Olympics. That's a long, long time. I had my ups and my downs. I wanted to retire many a times. But I didn't retire. I got back into the gym. I was willing to learn. I wanted to learn. I wanted to be the best Irish senior boxer in this country. I wanted to be the best ever. I got back to work, got back training, kept learning. Accept your mistakes, but learn from them. And I have made many of mistakes in my life, inside and outside the ring, but I've learned from every one of them. If you don't learn from your mistakes, you're going around in circles. How did you take up boxing like? When I was eight years of age, my oldest brother, William, he was probably 16 at the time. He was boxing in the, in the local club and he brought me over. Um, so he was, he was Irish champion for a few years. Uh, he never really amounted to being an Olympian or anything, but he was, he was my inspiration. He got me into the club at eight, eight years of age and it started from there. But I'm funny, I have friends that play hurling. It's an Irish sport with the sticks and you'd never catch me with a hurling in my hand. I think it's too violent, you know? <laughs> <laughs> During your journey, what was your greatest fear? My greatest fear was having, having regrets. I didn't want to have any regrets in my, in my sporting career. That's why I gave 100% in everything from the training floor. I was the first man on the floor and the last man off it. And I just wanted to really test my, my mind and my body to see what I could really do. Uh, I, I would have hated to, to retire and have a lot of questions of what if and what if, and I don't have that today. Day one to the day you finished, what was that one thing that kept you going? Just, I, I believe, I, even though I had all those negative thoughts, I believed I was good enough. Belief, you have to believe in yourself, you know? And, and I, I always wanted to learn, I was asking my coaches hundreds of questions, they were sick of, sick of listening to me because I was asking them, how do you do this, and what am I doing this, and if I move that way, or move that way, or use, move my head this way, or, you know, I was constantly asking for information all the time. And, you know, so now I was saying, ask a question and be a fool for a second. Don't ask the question and you'll be a fool for life. <laughs> you know, I, I think life is, is like a roller coaster. We have our good days and our bad days, but it's about how we handle them on, on a daily basis. Um, so I wish us all the best of luck um, and thanks very much for listening. All right. Thank you.